Evening, everybody. It's the Dark Comic Nerd again, coming to you from Animal, Cross uh, Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Excuse me, guys. Can't talk tonight. Um, frankly, uh, hold on a second, guys. Uh, it's been a while, guys, since I managed to get something to drink, and my throat's killing me. Nowadays, a cough, they think you're going to be carrying the plague. Not that it matters. Who am I going to bother? I'm in my own freaking house. Last day of vacation, guys. I'm really depressed. I didn't even feel up to last night getting on and doing a game on my PS4. I have... I mean, it's not that I've been depressed about being inside. It's not about everything that's been going on. But you just tie everything together and then you take into account the new Animal Crossing, which is what I was doing last night. Wisp came along in my Animal Crossing game and I had to do that. And so the thing is, I was busy doing that for a while. So by the time I did that and some other stuff, I was I was gone. I, I just couldn't do it anymore. So I, I'm going to try to get a game out tonight. Maybe I'll try to do it right after I'm done this. I've also been watching Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans cartoon. So I, I really got caught into that. So, I've been doing a whole bunch of stuff, but I wanted to get on here, guys, and do a video and show you some of the wicked good stuff I've gotten today. Let's start it off, guys, by kicking it off with testing our luck at the quarry, because I just got enough people to help me out so that I can do the quarry. Let's see if we get some good luck. Maybe today we'll strike gold. You know, there's about the same likelihood you'll strike gold in the core here that you will strike a rock and animal across the New Horizons to get gold. I only have two guys. Though, anybody that's playing New Horizons you can tell that rocks are not easy to come by. It's not like it's something you could plant. I think everybody goes for that first rock right there. Hey, we struck gold! Sweet! And we struck silver. Maybe all the good stuff's over here. You know what? At this point, who cares? Let's just go for it. I'll take it. I got a gold and a silver tonight. Remember, guys, if I'm not mistaken, that ties in to how many um, gyroids we'll get. 43. Nice. And I got a good chunk of change to boot, which I could use because I've been spending money lately to do um, maps. Do the blather maps on here to get more uh, leaf tickets and stuff. Uh, they don't just give those leaf tickets away. You have to spend some of your own money in real life or spend your money here, one or the other. Trying to keep my stuff above that million mark is important to me. Okay, while we're here, guys, looks like our gyroids reset a little bit. I'm still scavenger hunting for gyroids. I need as many as I can. And then I'm going to do the reverse of what I did last time. And I'm going to start... Um, I'm going to start doing stuff with... Um, producing uh, gyroid furniture when I've got a fair number of them. I'm just going to do it lickety split. Um, good. We had a few more reset. That was good. Let's collect our goodies, guys, that we got from here. And let's see if maybe we actually reached a collection goal. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah! Whoop, whoop! Check this out, guys. Once I get a few more and get up to 300, I'm done. Then it's all about crafting. So, and like I said, I'm trying to collect a lot of these gyroids first, then craft after wood. Um, ooh, guys, check out that shadow in there. Earlier today, I had a shadow that looked better than that, and it was like a giant king salmon. Uh, that was only a uh, regular salmon, but I don't have any of those, I don't think, so it's always good to have another one. Um, I don't think we're anywhere near getting enough of these... Oh, nope, I was wrong. I'm very close, guys, to getting the next one I need for the single stem bouquet. And we're getting up to the end of that, guys. That After that, it's just going to be craft, 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 craft. That's all it's going to do. Um, we have more fun on the horizon, guys. We're going to go hit the um, 
fortune cookie stand next because we have a special fortune cookie and then i won a special fortune cookie by doing an event or i guess earned it would be more accurate um from doing what was it um i don't know if it was bugs or what it was but i know i i got one of maggie's fortune cookies i think no scratch that guys um i got uh, some fortune cookies from just logging in during the New Horizons thing that's going on. This is Maggie's cookie right here. Come on, five star. Ooh, looks like it's going to be a three. But I don't have it, so I'll take it. Amazingly enough, gold, guys, it's so weird. Gold means three star. Seems like silver means um, four star. And then gold with shiny, with a, where it's like illuminated behind it, means cha-ching, you've hit the jackpot. We are going to take and um, take a moment, guys. Uh, no, I'm all set. I'll get back to that later. And we're going to... Go get the other fortune cookies that we've been... Oh, uh, excuse me. I've only got one right now, but there'll be more of them as we go along. Feast's chick cookie. I have no idea what this cookie is, guys. I really don't. Let's see if we can maybe get a four star. Five would be awesome. I used to do good with five stars, and then boop! Just gone. Looks like we're in for another three star day. Sure, why not? I'm not even really that interested in that cookie. You know, guys, I'm starting to think that much like my fake granddaughter, eating more fortune, fortune cookies before you eat the special one might have might increase your luck, but I don't know that. Some of the five stars I got, there was just kind of a random thing. But it seems like as of late, it really hasn't been as good as it used to be. Okay, guys, what we're going to do now is we're going to make some neighbors happy. If you didn't notice that my level has gone up quite a bit since the last time I uh, did a video. Well, I, I don't want to say quite a bit, but it takes a lot more guys to get at least one level now. This is also a good way to get rid of all the excess stuff I'm carrying. Everybody wants a coconut. Something that is actually pretty easy to come across in New Horizons. That one right there, guys, is this 4,000 next to the shrimp. That's my... Oh, excuse me. That's my regular salmon. The giant one's on the bottom for 30,000. See, guys, that, fish is, that salmon's going to come in handy right now. Those big extra large fish that you can catch, and I guess you can catch a lot of them. I've seen people with these extra honking sized koi and everything. Um, they're good to sell on the market. That's where it's a good place to get rid of them. And then you kind of have to hope that somebody's willing to buy them. I don't know if there's anything special. Like if I gave one to my neighbor when they asked for a fish, I don't know if they'd like crap themselves or what, but you know. Actually. Octavian, I think, is from my... I think he's currently at my house right now. So we're going to give him something good. Even though it's not going to raise his level up. You need to get this funky-looking sofa right now. You need to craft it as one of the amenities if you want to do that. Okay, so everybody's happy. Everybody's happy. Um, okay, so we're going to go walk around, guys, and see how many more uh, gyroids we can catch. And by catch, I mean just fine lying around the ground. Probably not as exciting as checking out me doing the um, uh, fortune cookies and waiting for the suspense to see what happens. But since I'm currently making a video... Hey, guys, it's kind of ironic. Look there. There's a tire stack right there. You can make those as a DIY um, in Animal Crossing New Horizons. I'm almost tempted to grab one because it's kind of nostalgic, but... 
I really don't need those things. I really, really don't. I suppose if I wanted to make it look... If I wanted to make my whole campground look a little bit more like my stuff on um, New Horizons, I could, but... Yeah. And with that stuff, you can buy access to store them, but if you have that stuff, it's just sucking up more space unless you dump it somewhere. Actually, the way they work on these things, it might be sucking up more space one way or another. Oh, I almost forgot, guys. We have a new amenity to show off tonight, so... We'll go around and do this, and then we'll show off that new amenity. Um, I honestly don't remember what it was that I built. Ooh, there's a nice looking beetle, guys. We gotta get him off anyway. Sorry, Mr. Beetle, you are in my way of getting my gyroid. Well, that other gyroid just came out of nowhere, didn't it? I swear it wasn't there a second ago, sir. Okay, on to the next one. On the beach, it's always cool to look for... Um, uh, pearl oyster shells. So, which I have to admit, I have not seen in the New Horizons game. <coughs> I'm drying my house out too much. That's my problem. I got to turn the old heat back. Anybody living in my state tonight? We're gonna get a snowstorm. Oh goody! Here it is, almost April, and we're gonna get a snowstorm. Though I live in Maine. Freak snowstorms towards the end of the season, especially when it says spring on the calendar, not that uncommon. Annoying? Yes. Uncommon? No. If anything, we all thought that maybe um, we were getting off easy, considering we haven't had a big, big snowstorm in a while. This one is only supposed to be a couple inches, maybe half a foot at best, and at least for my area. And um, uh, then it's... Uh, gonna pretty much melt away by tomorrow afternoon because it's gonna be in the 50s so yeah so it's like it's going to be here just to be a nuisance for driving tonight like people that work in retail and other places because you gotta remember restaurants closed fast food places probably running on a skeleton crew most everything is boop, 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 boop. so the thing is is that um not a lot of people are out except for the retail people who are, really have to be out there, like my job, which I go back to tomorrow, because the snow I thought was going to be a problem, but it's going to be gone by the time I go to work, by the sounds of it. Um, you know, and the public works people won't be able to do the road work they want to do because it'll be snowing on it. So they'll be out plowing. You know, we must have an excess of rock salt and stuff coming up. Um, I got lucky. My state put a apparently hold for 90 days on... Um, getting vehicles inspected and registered so i think i got lucky with the registration maybe but the inspection no i don't and i don't really worry about going to do the registration except i don't know if my town office is open i don't know if it's considered essential enough that my town office is open so eh. good thing is we have the internet still i'd probably just check it out and see if it's still open or not it's probably got a thing up saying if it's closed. But uh, I heard that most of the public state offices are kind of wishy-washy right now. I thought I might have heard they closed. Some people had said it was weird that they hadn't closed. I hadn't really heard yet what was really going on. Ooh, I need some oranges. It's going to complete a daily task. Cha-ching! I get a couple things of fertilizer. Ain't I lucky? To be honest, if I want a fertilizer, I could just go talk to Chunky Jeffrey. <laughs> oh, if I really wanted some fertilizer and have it good quality, I could go talk to his kids. They're so full of crap. Yuck, 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 yuck. Um, it's true, too. I don't miss any chance to say that his kids are full of crap. In the worst possible way. One more place we can go to look for gyroids. I 
See how it says store your items in warehouses? That's the only way you can store excess items. That's the end in this game. This game is much like many other things. It is meant for one purpose, to take you and your money and separate them. Nothing. Okay, well, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to close this. We're going to go check on this. There's our new amenity. That's right. It's the canvas hammock. And we're going to go right back to our campground, and we're going to have a little unveiling party. So any of you that haven't done one of these yet, you get to check one out. Rustic. That's the only thing it's for. It's rustic. I had a reason for for doing that. Why did I make that? It must be for whatever comes next. You got uh, everything that was left that I hadn't built. It was the better looking out of the group. Let us find out. Well, my nose is so itchy. It's true. I gotta go turn the heat down in the house. My nose is, is just bothering me crazy. Uh, yeah, the next one we get to do is a balloon. Um, the thing is, is that I don't mind doing that, but that's not why I did it. Um, funny that, I don't remember if that was, yeah, I think that was there. I just didn't look very hard to see what it was. Everything that usually you can get as you go along is in shadow. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, once we hit the second one, it might pop up on its own. Because I'm missing, when you do this one here, the mush tent, and then you go to the next one, the patchwork ghost sofa, which is what a lot of people want before I can get them to progress along in their affinity. Um, there's nothing after that. So the third thing you get must pop up after you've unlocked the first two. And then as you can see with my nature ones up here, guys, it's bing, bing. Oh, sorry. This tent is generic. This is the natural tent. This is the picnic set, natural. And that's the final thing, treehouse, natural, I think. Yeah. Cute's the same way. And sporty is the same way. A lot of these have already, I've already maxed out. So I'm just trying to work on these to see what's going to pop up. Um... Oh, wow, I didn't even pay attention to this clockwork tower. Oh, wait, no, I did see that right after I did the train. So, you know what, guys? I like to have my, when I when I think an amenity is pretty cool, I like to have it out for a while, and then um, we'll build over it. Uh, if it was the, oh, shoot. I'm an idiot. I've forgotten all about that, guys. This time, of the, this time of year, if you talk to your neighbors, they will give you gyroids. I forgot all about it, and I haven't been talking to them that much. What a bummer. Um, it's not like it's a big deal. They only give you, like, a couple at a time, so... I to shut off my things before I uh, started doing my videos. Grace wants to talk about herself. Thanks for the chat, you stupid penguin. Um, I got one more to go. I've been ignoring most of the chats with my neighbors, to be honest. I just don't really care to do it. But I forgot, if you if you get a, giddy, a goodie bag from them, as I call them, you can um, possibly get some gyroids. As you people can see, this is why I don't talk to them. It's a lot of, you know, rubbish. Well, that was kind of worth it. And how are my flowers looking today? Not bad. I, I don't know if somebody watered them or not because they're not glittering. So they probably grew. I mean, they're fine. I mean, watering, I think, might just help them to grow faster. But not a lot of people during non-event times really think about watering other people's gardens. So um, I want to see if they've actually... 
Nope, somebody did water them. Because they've got water dripping on them. There's the shine. There we go. Luca, okay, very nice. Thank you. Um, we could pull them. I keep special flowers like that, guys, because I don't want to use up my non-event flowers to give to neighbors. Now, if they ask for a specific one, there's not much I could do unless they want to say no. But next to that, when they ask for a generic flower, I want to give them one of those, and that works out a lot better. And then I have the other ones to cross-pollinate and so on and so forth. But um, I think that's it, guys. Boy, we've done a pretty good job. We made a pretty good haul tonight. Um, let's see how my goals are setting up. Do, 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 do. 276 to 300, guys, and then we move on to crafting stuff. Not bad. We got some time to kill, guys. Let's get to crafting some of the more minor things that we have to craft. Um, pardon me for a second. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, sometimes you just get the half sneeze and then it stops. I'm happy when I get a, when I can get a full sneeze out. Okay. Um, let's do these ones. Like I said, I was gonna wait till I got um all the um, gyroids I needed to craft with first, but. Why don't we get a few of them out of the way since we can. Okay. And then by that, I mean some of the easier ones that only cost us 10 gyroids. Crafted. These are only going to take about an hour, guys. So not that I'm probably going to get on my Animal Crossing game again. Except maybe one more time tonight. Oops, I was on the wrong thing. There we go. And let's do the next one. And that's when it starts using up more gyroids. So, not that it really matters. It doesn't take it from your overall count. But yeah, it's going to be a long evening. Yeah, see, that one's five hours. All right. So, here's my plan, guys. It is about quarter past seven. Actually, ten past would be a little more accurate. I still have to eat. Even though I had a late lunch, I'm going to try to stuff something down so that I don't have to deal with acid indigestion. Like, I mean, my sinuses... Okay, so this is the way it goes, guys. It dries out in the house now between the cold weather we've had outside lately and the dryness of my house from trying to keep it warm because of how much colder it's been at night. So my sinuses dry out, and then all the mucus runs down the back of my throat, and it makes for tickles in my throat and other fun things, which are not something you want nowadays because everybody thinks you're carrying the quote-unquote black plague if you basically even cough so that's something that makes it tiresome and on top of that it's running into my stomach and gives me bad acid indigestion which basically means it feels like i got battery acid in my stomach almost all the time so that's done that's not fun um so right now i want to try to get this out of the way now so that when i go to bed around midnight or one uh, it's not something i have to deal with i don't have to be up till about eight in the morning and that even still gives me time to play Animal Crossing, guys, because I don't have to leave till 9.30. So it works out great. But uh, my plan is tonight is to try to get a... I got to get on Fate Grand Order to try to play a little bit. Uh, I'm going to try to do that. Might even do another video. I don't know. Uh, that last one was a pain in my butt. So I don't know if I want to go through another one. Um, and then... Um, uh, what else I got going on? I'm going to try to get a PS4 video out. And it's probably going to be the end of my game -a -thon. I mean, tomorrow I go back to work at 10. If the snowstorm had continued early into the later into the early parts of the morning, uh, which I know sounds like an oxymoron, but what I mean is that it's going to be done by 6. Uh, and if it had been done more like at 10, I might have had to call out because the road conditions might have been crap. Um, in this case... Oh, sorry, guys. I just had to see if I can get that crank out, but nope. I think it's the way I'm sitting. Um, it's also, I think, the way it's affecting my stomach acid, too. The way I'm sitting is not good because I'm at an angle like this. And the thing is, is that it's not good for me. So probably I'm going to get up and park it in my chair, my recliner, and watch some Teen Titans and get some dinner out. Um, but it's like, I've got to try to get a game out tonight and my game-a-thon, which 
This week, guys, I haven't had a horrible time, but it was not the time I expected. The best thing I've had going for me is Animal Crossing, New Horizons. It's been awesome. It's been just fantastic. Um, I still have a few little things to do on that. I'd like to try to get enough money to um, get to the next level of my house. And I'd like to maybe think about hitting one more island maybe tonight, but it's not essential. Because at this point, guys, since they're having our neighbors move in... Um, we can't get any new neighbors from the islands. I'm thinking until, um, uh, until probably after all the three neighbors that Nook allowed to move in from the other islands move in completely. It's kind of like, well, you can't get new neighbors until you take the neighbors you already got. So right now, um, I got one neighbor today. Um, one of the ones I was really hoping to have, um, it's this big, huge purple bear. That's huge. It's freaking huge. You have like the teddy bear type bears. This one is big. It's bigger than my character. It's like freaking Andre the Giant. So I actually like that character. Um, it's going to be interesting to have that character. I have a hunch, guys. Having, I think the old Animal Crossing games used to allow you, I can't remember what it was, six, eight. Something like that, number of neighbors. I don't think that's going to be possible unless you want to deforest this. This is an island. This is not the big place we had in the old Animal Crossing. So I think you're going to be limited to possibly just these five people. Um, I don't know. That's why I don't think they want you to find any other new people on these little islands you fly to uh, with your Nook Miles. Because if you did, it would... Um, well, first off, I don't know why they don't just let you do it because all you'd be able to do is talk to them. You wouldn't be able to invite them. Um, but I think what's going to happen is, is after your neighbors move in that you have invited, um, what's going to happen is, is that you're going to, I think anytime you invite somebody, they're going to have to replace somebody you just got on your island. So I think they're going to make us wait on that for a bit. I don't know how long it's going to be till we start like swapping neighbors with, people that were visiting their island because like when i go to my friend's house uh, and i go to her island it's like it used to be in the good old days when you were hopping between animal crossing towns every once in a while you'd run into somebody who wants to move um from that person's town to yours a lot of times there were ways that you could encourage neighbors to want to beat it and then first chance that they had to go to somebody else's town there you go um i don't know how it's going to work on this one it's going to be interesting so right now there's a few things you can and can't do um so that limits my options but there are a few things i'd like to do so i might do those tonight and i'm gonna have to wait and see because like i said i only have to about one in the morning and i don't want to burn myself out because i got to get up early in the morning and i've got to start going to work and then work will burn me out <laughs> um I mean, the good thing about my job is, is that almost no matter what, it will be essential, which means even if they decide to shut the state down, um, I can still go to work. And um, like I said, I think in one of my previous videos, my job um, just offered us uh, some extra money to help out with our woes and concerns, even though we're still able to work, which means I'm probably ahead of more than half the state right now able to still work and i mean i feel bad for the guys that can't so but uh yeah things are getting interesting um i can't wait till this whole virus thing crests i can't wait till um you know people stop panic buying i don't know if that'll ever happen i can't wait till a lot of things just kind of hit their high point and then we start all calming down um you know what guys the flu um it does its toll on um america every single year um this is going to be one of those things that we might just have to get used to um it's not fun but we might have to get used to it the flu virus mutates every year and comes back we might have to deal with the same thing with this and then just you know the good thing is is that maybe in a couple months to a year we'll have an antivirus you know we'll have basically a vaccine in the meantime all I can say to you guys out there, my very few people that are watching this, I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. And uh, we will see what happens with doing videos. You guys know I was doing videos back when I was at work. Um, we'll see, though, how things go with making videos and doing other stuff in the future. And I want to lastly say that 
I am working at trying to get those Animal Crossing videos somehow to my YouTube channel. I will find a way to get those. Because um, right now, guys, they're on my they're on my Switch. And I don't know how to get the video data from the Switch to there. But I have a couple ideas. Um, it just might take a little bit more work than I originally thought. Because my stuff is not being put on a little micro SD card. It's being put directly to the hard drive. Though I might buy a micro SD card to put in the unit and see if I can send it to the micro SD card, the stuff I have. And then maybe I can take it and put it on my computer after that. That might give me something. Um... But yeah, I wanted to put those videos up, guys, before my vacation was done. It's just not becoming as easy as I thought. So I hope you guys will bear with me, and I definitely will show you as many Animal Crossing videos that I have from New Horizons when I get a chance. In the meantime, guys, like I said, stay safe, stay healthy, try to have a good time if you're locked in, and if you have to go out, you know what, guys? Be considerate of our older folks they're the ones that are in the most jeopardy and then try to be conscientious of other people out there guys because like i said panic shopping it really doesn't do anybody any good remember guys toilet paper is not going to protect us from any virus and the thing is is about the only thing um it will do is uh either a Make it so that you are able to use as much toilet paper as you'd like when you go to the bathroom. Or B, if you find a neighbor you don't like, you'll be able to TP his house very well. Which, by the way, if any of you would like to have suggestions, let me know. I can let you know where Chunky Jeffrey hangs out. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good night.